The family of a Brownsville man who died while in custody at the Cameron County Detention Center is now filing a lawsuit. They claim their loved one died because of lack of medical care. Action Force North Salinas live in the studio with those details. It's been nearly a year since 29-year-old Fernando Longoria lost his life at the Carrizales Rucker Detention Center. His family's attorney says he was only three days away from completing his sentence. For 29-year-old Fernando Longoria, a basic 10-day sentence at the Carrizales Rucker Detention Center following a DWI became fatal. He was there on a misdemeanor. He was serving a 10-day sentence on a DWI. Um, he was seven days into his sentence when he passed away. His family's attorney, Eddie Lucio, is now helping them file a lawsuit against Cameron County officials. They claim Longoria's death could have been prevented if he had received appropriate medical attention. The zoo has a full-time doctor on staff for the, for the animals, yet the people at Carizales do not. According to this 23-page complaint, Longoria suffered a total of three seizures while in custody. He was isolated in a room where his condition quickly worsened, becoming delusional and refusing to eat or take any medicine for three days. He was seen by a jail nurse, but was allegedly never taken to the hospital. He should have been taken to the hospital. I mean, at this point, we don't know exactly what caused him to start suffering these symptoms and these seizures, but what we do know is that the moment he started having the first seizure, he should have been hospitalized immediately. And this hospital, rather than hospitalize him, they punished him. They locked him away in a little room rather than just take him to the hospital immediately. We reached out to the Cameron County Sheriff, Omar Lucio, to see if he had anything to say about the lawsuit. But with this being a legal matter, he says he is unable to comment. According to the Texas Commission on Jail Standards, 365 inmates in Texas jails complained about medical services in 2014. Attorney Lucio says he hopes this case will bring policy changes to the Cameron County Detention Center. We get numerous complaints from inmates about how they're treated in there, about the lack of medical care, the lack of medical attention that they're receiving while they're in there. And we are trying to make a change to that. We are asking the, comp the county to change its medical care policies. Attorney Eddie Lucio will be filing a lawsuit in the death of Jose Pesina as well. He also died at the Carrizales Rucker after suffering from a heart attack. Live in the studio, Nora Salinas, Action 4 News.